This special presentation of SHOT Show 2018 was made possible by Air Guns of Arizona, Air Gun Depot, Pyramid Air, Umarex USA, Air Force Air Guns, Crossman Corporation, Hatsan USA, and JSB Predator International. And you guys know the best way to thank them. All right, guys, we're in the Daystate Brocock booth with the face of Air Guns of Arizona, Jared Clark. And <laughs> so they tell me. <laughs> so he, he is. And holy moly, have these two brands gone absolutely bananas for 2018. We have got a ton of product to get through. Jared's going to take us through a lot of it. Shane Keller standing right over there. 2017 Extreme Bentrest winner is going to get us through some too. But Oh my goodness, the Daystate Red Wolf. What the heck we got going on here, brother? This one's been grabbing everyone's attention as they come by, and it's obvious why. It's a really it's special commissioned red and gray laminate stock on it. This is the Siri Russo, which means the red series. So this, this one that we're holding is a limited edition. Okay. There'll be 200 of them made worldwide. Okay. And then after that, it will still be available to Red Wolf. It's just gonna have a standard laminate stock or a walnut option. Okay, I'm with you. So, on this particular one, you have a red cocking bolt. That's part of the series Russo. Yeah. But what's really cool, obviously, other than the electronics they're using. Yeah. Can you go down that path yeah. and maybe tell us? In, uh, they're right now. They're in, at home. They're looking yeah. at that window, going, "What the heck is that all about?" Internally, this gun utilizes an electronic regulating system, so it's able, with a solenoid, to open and close the valve quicker than any mechanical device could. Okay. So you're going to see a high shot count. You're going to see really tight consistencies. This one's made to be kind of the, the upper echelon of the day state. The flagship. Rifles. Yes, very much so. Um, so yeah, you got the electronics here. You can see here the carbon fiber shroud. This is real carbon so fiber. That's it's not plastic. Not, it's, and it's made by Tamiya, guys. <laughs> it's not wrapped either. It's not taped. That is carbon fiber cut. Okay. It gives the rifle a good aggressive look while maintaining the, low, the lightweight. So All this right. gun basically weighs nothing if you want to. Oh my God. God, there is no exaggeration for effect, guys. I'm, get, I'm guessing, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, five, six-ish as it is, and maybe seven and a half-ish, eight with a scope? I think you nailed it. I think it's five, seven as that one sits, right at six pounds without this a scope. This is freaking me out how light this is. Now, you mentioned electronics. So it's got an electronic uh, regulator. Right. Okay. Um, the trigger, is that mechanical or also electronic? That's electronic as well. Okay. So it uses a solenoid system, lightest trigger you've ever felt. All right, so light and precise. Now, when they cock this, are they actually pulling back a hammer and compressing a spring, or what's the deal nope. there? With the with the solenoid system, all this does is actuate your magazine, so it's effortless back, effortless forward. That'll that cocks the gun right there, guys. Puts the next pellet up is basically all that's doing is cycling the magazine to the next pellet. All right, so they're all at home sitting, you know, on their sofas or whatever, hopefully watching this on the big screen because everything on AEAC is optimized for television uh, viewing. <laughs> if you guys haven't figured that out yet. Take advantage of your YouTube app on your TV. You can see these beautiful faces <laughs> in such clarity. In 70, in 70 <laughs> inch. But um, I, I'm I'm guessing 17722 and 25? Correct. Okay. Also, and, let me interrupt yeah, you real it. quick. Um, they're going to make, they have, this is the high power version. All right. So you can see the barrel. It's a full 24 inch barrel here. Okay, okay. They're going to make a standard option that's going to be a little less foot pounds as well. Right. But it's going to be a lot shorter as, okay, as well. Okay, so a carbine. A little bit consolidated foot pounds energy, but nicer to bang around in the woods. Yeah, and something a full like length this if you a, need all the power. Yeah, hunting gun, coyote gun, something like that. Absolutely. All right, so back to there at home on the couch. They probably got a lot of questions racing through their mind right now, and they're probably thinking, "All right, it's electronic. That probably freaks me out a little bit." Can you speak a little bit to maybe the batteries that it takes? How many? Sh you know, how long the batteries will last? Warranty. You know, these are things they're probably wondering. Right. Warranty on these is going to be five years. Can you say that again? I, I didn't hear you. I believe the warranty on these is going to be five years. Okay, that is correct. I was told that earlier. So you're covered <laughs> for the foreseeable future when you buy one of these. The battery system, I believe it's an 18650, and you have a slot here that you really need something to pop yeah, open. Yeah, you just pops it. open, and one, you know, like a flashlight battery, cylindrical 18650 goes right in there. It's not going to add much weight. They're get them on Amazon for sure, two, yeah. three, four bucks. Mm -hmm. So it's it's even though it is like you said, a very complex system. The, the ease of use is very simple for the end user. Now, I was told by Team Daystate, when I say Team Daystate, I mean like the factory people, that they're getting like 4,000 shots at least, <laughs> like on a battery. So it ain't like you're going to go out, of the, out in the woods and all of a sudden have a problem. And I also heard that that warranty is probably going to be transferable to a second owner with a fee. 
you guys can't quote me on this, but it's probably going to be something like it comes back to the distributor. They run like a multi-point inspection on it. You got to pay them, you know, some kind of fair price, probably a couple of hundred bucks ish for that service. And then you have a certified uh, warranty if ever you wanted to pass that on to a second owner. And if I understand it correctly, you renew your warranty as well. So sending it back to us, having us go through it, like you said, paying a small fee, you're, you're now resetting your five-year warranty. So it's going to be, I mean, in theory, it's kind of a lifetime warranty almost. It is. And, 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 you know, don't quote us on any of this stuff, guys. This is all in development, but this is the path they're going down. And it'll probably land on some variation of that. And that's important because in our industry, I, I haven't heard of that. Have you heard of that? No, I've never heard of anything like that. So that's <laughs> next level stuff for right there, guys. All right. So calibers, 177-2225. They're probably wondering if it'll make 45 foot-pounds in 25. In 25, yes, I believe so. It's right at 40. The HP is going to be 60. So you'll definitely make it if you go with the longer version. Okay. The shorter version, you're going to be right at about 40 foot-pounds. 60 foot-pounds, foot pounds, that's a lot of yeah, muscle. That's hitting. All right, and then uh, the last two questions. When and how much? <laughs> I've been <laughs> told are important. March. We're slotted for you know middle to late March All for right. our first delivery. Spring. I believe you're going to be right at uh, 3,200 for this one. Okay, 3,200 is. Yes, and Great. this one is the series Russo. It's the red series, uh -huh. so price will drop on the standards. Okay, so maybe well, we don't even know. I don't even want to yeah, speculate. It's hard to speculate. But at this I would point. guess maybe a, a walnut stock, maybe a synthetic, maybe a laminate, something I've like that. I've heard walnut and laminate is okay. what I've been told. So that'll be the the standard Red Wolf, but everything internally, guts wise. Yeah. You're still gonna have the sweet, sweet rifle, and the, the carbon fiber stays yeah. consistent between the two. Uh huh. 480 cc, I'm guessing, carbon Correct. fiber bottle. Uh huh. I imagine they're probably not even going down the path of steel or aluminum there. No. And if I know Day State, Lothar Walther barrel. Yes, sir. Match grade. <laughs> Match grade Lothar Walther. <laughs> they do have different grades of barrels, guys. Just so that you know. You what also get three power levels on it, so you'll have a high, a medium, and low within each caliber. Yeah. And each one's been tuned very. Yeah, I'm that. glad Jared brought that up. What I'll do, guys, is I will link in the bottom of this video my full review of the Daystate Pulsar because this engine is an evolved um, state of that. It, you know, it's kind of the next level. They've made a lot of uh, improvements and enhancements since I reviewed it a couple years ago. But, you know, all within the brains here, if I recall, we can adjust power output, which adjusts shot count and sound kind of uh, together. Um, you can adjust, you can kind of give it some commands as far as what you want it to do with letting you know when the magazine's empty, whether it's not, not, right. and there may or may not even be some uh, trigger controls in there. Don't quote me on that, but it also gives you an indicator as to, as to battery life, so. Yes, and pressure in the gun as well. That'll be right there in front of your face. That's what I, with the electronic guns, yeah. if you're on a bench, it is so easy to look at an LCD screen versus flipping your gun over, yep. checking your pressure, flipping it back, resetting everything up. I love electronics. I mean, it's like you said, it's intimidating, but it's they stay it, knocks you know, it out it's really not, and it's an illuminated screen, if I remember, for the Pulsar. Yes. Guys, this Go is back. the era we live in, so it only makes sense that the next evolution of air guns follow down that path, and if that's freaking some of you out, it shouldn't, because it's not like this is brand new technology for Day State. This has been around a decade. Very close to, yeah, with the MCT, the CDT, Airwolf, yeah, electronics have been around. And it ain't like they got, and it ain't like they got a reputation of not working. Right. I mean, it has been, if not flawless, damn close to it for a lot, for a long, long time. Right. So just didn't want you to have that worry. All right, man, we got a lot of other exciting <laughs> stuff to look at. Thank you so much, Jared. It's See, always nice to spend time with fun. you. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we will be right back. Okay, the Day State Wolverine now. I actually own one of these, the, the model that came out maybe three years ago, the Wolverine C in 177, and I will never get rid of it. You know, we all have guns that just kind of fit our bodies, fit our personalities, fit what's important to us. You know, there's a lot of great product out there, obviously, and it's a, a deeply personal choice, and that's, that's just air gunning. But, so, you know, this is of particular interest to me, this new Wolverine R, and it's gone through some pretty significant changes for 2018. Is that it right, has, Yeah, it has. And I mean, the biggest one obviously is what that R stands for, is regulator. Okay. So they've added, and it's a Huma regulator. So Day State has teamed up with a uh, powerhouse in the regulating industry. A lot of people use Humas, they work well. Great performance out of them. So Day State has now incorporated that into their, like you said, very likable Wolverine breech block here. Mm -hmm. So the benefit the end user gets basically, now you still have the slingshot hammer in here. Yep. And as you probably know, it's pretty efficient as it, it is. It actually, one of the reasons, yeah. I mean, I didn't want to march down that path and kind of steal away from the Huma and the regulator thing because that's important and that's definitely a big step. 
you know, towards shot to shot, shot consistency, which at the end of the day translates to accuracy. But I mean, that, that Harper slingshot valve, it's a good valve by itself. It's tuned fine. It's got a nice broad power curve. So you get lots of usable shots out to 50 and 100. But this is just going to take that shot curve and make a pancake out of it, I'm guessing, because Puma does good, good stuff. Absolutely, yeah. And that's what it's now what they're telling me is they're getting 110 shots at 40 foot pounds out of this setup with those two working together. Wow, so I'm guessing that'll probably be the 25 cal. That would be the 22. Really? So is this going to be available in 25? It will be, yes. So 25, 22, I'm sure 177. 177. So maybe, maybe we don't know, 45 foot pounds ish. That's amazing that you're getting. You'll be getting around 40, yeah, in 22. At 40 foot pounds, yeah. That's a strong 22. It's a very right there. strong. And there'll be different configurations and power options, I'm sure. But obviously, I mean, it's a give and take. Anytime you up the foot pounds, usually you'd slightly decrease, but 40 at 110 is going in the right direction. That's yeah. a lot of energy and a lot of uh, a lot of shots per fill. It is now. Uh, you know, we don't want to take for granted that they know what a Wolverine is. So right. maybe, what are the basics of the Wolverine? What makes the gun special? It's a mono block design. So you have a one piece breech block here. They all come incorporated with a shroud system of some sorts. So they're very quiet right out of the box. And then like you, like we were saying earlier, high shot count is usually synonymous with Wolverine. And this one would be, I mean, this is kind of Day State's rifle at the moment. The, the, I don't want to say it's their top of the line rifle, but it is kind of their bread and butter rifle. Great, a 480cc carbon fiber tank. Correct. What a, do you have any idea what stocks are gonna be for this year? Um, it's the gray laminate is going to be available on all the Wolverines now. Okay. We actually have those in stock at Air Guns of Arizona. Mm -hmm. And then, so you'll have the gray laminate option and the walnut for sure. Okay. And the trigger is the same dual stage, very adjustable, sweet, sweet trigger <laughs> that we see in the rest day of the day states. states. Right. And then, I mean, the biggest other feature on this one, which is a big feature in my opinion, uh -huh. is instead of a straight pull bolt, yeah. like you have on your Wolverine C or any other Wolverine. Yeah. It's now a side cocker. So. Okay, so easy right there. I was going to say. Now, can I ask you a question yeah. about that? So there's another Day State, and it, I think it's locked up right here, but, you know, Day State's got a very loyal following, and what people have loved about them, you know, in years past is the very classic, traditional bolt action, and there may be a, you know, that, that could be their core, and there may be people that still want that. You know, can they still get that bolt action in you know, and something similar from Day State. Absolutely, the Wolverine R is not replacing anything. It is an addition to the family. So you'll still have the Wolverine 2 highlight okay. with the straight pull bolt available. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's not replacing anything. It's just another option within the Wolverine family. That's fantastic. Yep. And, and uh, I'm guessing Day State is still gonna carry the, are you calling it the Regal Huntsman? Regal XL. The Regal XL mm -hmm. now. Yes. Very classic, very moderately priced, beautiful gun. I'll um, put pictures of it in here so you guys can see <laughs> while we're talking. And uh, man, what did we forget? Oh, about how much and when, 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 when do you think we'll see it? You're gonna be right at I, all that. So don't quote us like we said a couple right, times, right. but you're gonna be right at about 1899, I think. And same deal, I think we're looking right around March to get our first delivery. Great. So not too far out, but we're excited. Oh, and the other thing, this can be switched just like the Wolverine bolt. Uh -huh. I'm looking at that. Very simple to switch. If you ever did the Pulsar or any of those others, uh -huh. take the screw out, flip that over. It's completely accommodating for left-handed shooters. Okay, so I'm actually looking at this stock. This is an ambidextrous stock. Yeah. Shame on me for not noticing yeah. that, but that's, that's, uh, that's great. And the bolt is reversible. Yep, so you can saying. get this gun set up in right hand or left hand. Man, what a rock star. Yep. Shane, thanks, buddy. I hope you have a great show. It's yeah. always nice spending we'll time you with there. you. I'm going to, uh, oh, Jared, why do I call him Shane? <laughs> I wasn't going to point it out. But. Point it out. <laughs> Jared who's, is going to spend some time with us now and take us through Brocock. Because, oh my goodness, are they doing time. some equally crazy stuff over there. We'll be right back. Shane. <laughs> Jared. I'm Jared. You Shane. said we're going to spend Jared. some time with Shane. <laughs> All right, guys. As promised, Brocock and here with Extreme Benchrest 2017 winner, Shane Keller to take us through it. See? Good to All see right. you, buddy. Always, Always a pleasure. Yes, sir. Ditto, Jenks, and all yep. that other good stuff. Good, good. This is freaking me out. As these guys probably know, um, I was able to, thanks to you guys, take its predecessor, the Bantam, uh, hunting in Utah. And I will link that video um, down in the description below. It's actually a full review of the gun. It includes a hunt in the, uh, in the Salt Lake City area. And I promise you're going to like it. But this gun has gone through some changes. Oh my, yeah, can you tell us about it? about it as well. What, this, what are we uh, calling it? This is the Brocock Bantam HM. HM standing for the Huma regulator that's now added to the gun. Um, and in, as, since we're talking about the regulator, you'll see there's two gauges. One 
with the Brocock label on it representing the tank pressure and one gauge with the Puma regulator uh, logo on it so you know your reg pressure. Now what 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 have they done so so you guys have gone down this path with Huma, which I'm glad everyone's uh -huh. great to see. Very good very, very glad to see because that's pretty much what everyone's using, you know, aftermarket. Um, but I'm seeing some changes in the stock. I'm seeing some changes in the shroud. I'm seeing some changes in the rail, the ball, you know, and even yeah. in this power level, power, power adjuster, I heard they were doing something different. Can you kind of take us through that a little bit? <coughs> Excuse me, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of changes to this gun, as you just mentioned, um, you know, where to start. First of all, you're gonna have the synthetic stock uh, with the changes, Picatinny rail on the bottom. As far as they got rid of the dovetail uh, rail, we now have a Picatinny rail, front and back, like the red dot sights, scopes, you know, your choice of optics. Puma regulator, which we talked about. I personally have shot this gun. We're getting 135 shots out of it in 22 caliber at 31 foot pounds of energy with a 15 foot per second spread. That's the sweet spot. Are they gonna do it in 2.5 and 177? 177, 177, 22 and 25. Uh, 177 coming in you know, right around 19, 20 foot pounds of energy. 25 caliber, 45 foot pounds of energy. Amen, that's where we all wanna be. Exactly. Now what's going on with the bolt here? I noticed that's a little different and something with a shroud exactly. too. Exactly, you know they beefed up the gun. Uh, you know, us, us Americans, we love tactical, very popular in the United States. So we got a big bolt handle now and a much uh, bigger diameter shroud. With a 17 inch barrel, you're gonna have some dead space in here with an air stripper, so the gun's gonna be very quiet, you know, out of the box. What barrels are they gonna use in the, uh, Both in the, Walther in the barrels. sniper? Lothar Walther barrels in all three calibers. Um, and there's been, uh, the Lothar Walthers were used in all the Brocock line. Okay. Power adjuster, uh, two step, high and low. Um, shooting this uh, last week, we were getting, again, 31 foot pounds of energy on high power and about 21, 20 foot pounds of energy on low power. Now, don't quote me on this, and because I've been sneaking around behind his back and talking to the Day State people a little bit, and what you might see, Day, Day State is over Brocock, just in case you guys don't know that. So they're, they're on the same team. Um, this power adjuster might go to like a five or six or seven way with a detent on each stop that also is going to work very well with that, that Huma regulator, right. so that's a path they might go down. I also heard that this stock, which is currently soft touch, you know, you guys are looking at prototypes. This is the beginning of the year. Of course. Um, but these are prototypes that are gonna be very close close to the final finished product. This soft touch stock may go away and you might see all polymer. So it'll kind of match the, uh, the cheek piece here. And the reason this Weaver rail might look a little sparkly and goofy to you is because um, that's one of those 3D printed rails. That's it's correct. like a prototype and it'll probably just be black aluminum like the rest of the gun and the final product, that's correct. I'm guessing. No, that is correct. Okay, cool. And it, uh, as you mentioned on the stock, it will. It'll be the uh, the same stock uh, material like you find on the uh, Compato, mm -hmm. uh, for example. Back to the regulator. Yeah. The regulator, take the stock off. You can adjust it externally without having to take the reg out of the gun. So if you want to fine tune your gun, you can lower, raise the pressure, mess with the uh, hammer spring, and really get the uh, the gun shooting at the foot pounds uh, that, uh, you, that you prefer. That's awesome. I mean, everything about this gun. Oh, I'm excited. I mean, and, and we're gonna talk about price and when here in a second, but you know, there's a reason that I took this with me on my first um, shoot travel hunt video is I wanted something short, powerful, clean, simple, something I could bang around and not worry that I was gonna exactly. br break your gun. And, and you know, this was just a good fit for, you know, for that. And, and uh, I'm seeing them march down an awesome path here, and, they are. and I'm excited. They so, did a fantastic job. What are we looking at for um, for money, and, and do you have any idea when? Uh, Price-wise, it's going to retail for $12.99, which is... That's a lot of gun for, the, for 1300 bucks. The shot count you're getting, the foot-pounds of energy and the consistency, mm -hmm. is probably one of the best things for the buck. Uh, magazine you know, fed, you get that nice Brocock Day State magazine. Shot rotary magazine. Mm -hmm. And then availability, we're looking end of March. So, here, so springtime. Yeah, right around the corner. God bless it. You guys did an awesome job with this one. Thank you, Brocock. Thank you, thank you, Day State. Of course. And um, thank you, Shane. We're gonna get that right. Yeah. Or Jared, whatever you want. No, nah, guys, <laughs> three days of this, three 16-hour days, believe me, we've all got brain, oh, yeah. brain damage like you would not believe. I could I couldn't even remember my wife's name last night. So oh, thank you guys I for, feel sorry for, you. for understanding. That's, Thanks, buddy. Have a great show. You in trouble. Steve, thank always a pleasure. Thank you. You too, buddy. Thanks for taking us through it. Of course. All right, now we touched on that Day State 
Pulsar and Red Wolf that use all that electronic circuitry, well, if that's not your bag and that's cool, you know, you can still get that style of gun from Daystate, but have it be all mechanical, enter the Daystate Renegade, but this gun is new and improved for this year. It is, it looks the same on the outside, um, but they have added to these the Huma regulators as well. Okay, great. It's a cylinder style air system, so it's an inline regulator. Mm -hmm. Very simple, what you're just gonna see is an increased shot count and a much tighter curve. You're gonna hit that plateau and just okay. keep it running. And in a little bit different shape, we got a, a bullpup going on now. Right. Now, they may not all know what bullpups are all about. What are the benefits of having a bullpup style rifle? You have a compact rifle at the end of the day is the big one. Um, you know, the, the big thing for a bullpup is there's, the trigger is centralized instead of being back at where the action happens, mm -hmm. back with all this, it's mm -hmm. centralized to the rifle. So as you can see, I mean, basically where your grip and where the barrel ends, you, you grab it in front of where the barrel ends. And you're getting a full-size barrel right. and a full-size gun. It's just not so big. Right, exactly. It keeps it compact. Basically, the length of the barrel is almost the entire length of the gun on a whole bunch. And something I love about them, and they've heard me say it before, but it takes all that weight and it brings it so close to that center line of your body. So you can have, and I'm not saying this weighs, you know, 10, 12, 15 pounds, but you can have a heavy gun and it just doesn't feel heavy because it's all supported in so close to the body. And that weight, believe it or not, contributes to accuracy, that overall accuracy picture. Right. I would argue, and I tell people this in the showroom, this would be one of the only guns you could probably shoot one-handed legitimately because of like what you were saying, the yeah. weight just kind of, it sits in your shoulder. So it's ideal for hunting scenarios. I mean, anywhere that you're in a tight spot, you still get all everything you need with that power yep. without sacrificing anything. Yep. Now I'm guessing probably seven, eight, eight-ish pounds, something like that without a scope. Without, yeah, yeah it's, I think it's 8.6 without a scope, this right. one is. So, and once you add a scope, I mean, even like I was saying, 10 pounds is kind of intimidating on paper, but when you shoulder it, you, you do not think 10 pounds, it just kind of sits into your body. No, guys, I realize I, I took poor Jared here down the path of weight, but pretty much every air gun <laughs> on planet Earth with a scope and, and filled with air weighs between nine and 10 and a half pounds. I mean, that's just, that's just probably 95% of them. There are some exceptions we touched on a couple of them and you know they're obviously doing some good things over here but so 177 any other calibers 30, in the renegade 30 cal so 30 cal regulated any idea of power and shot count you're gonna get 70 foot pounds um uh, more of a speculation on the shot count okay. i would guess it to get probably in the ballpark of about 20 to 25 shots at 70 foot pounds that's a lot of muscle beaver Oh, yeah. large rodents. Coyotes down Coyote. in the desert. <laughs> Hundred yard rodents, no oh, yeah. problem with something. Yeah, it'll something retain like energy this. really well. Um, and yeah, you're gonna you're just gonna see a higher shot count out of this one. So lots of shots is gonna be the big advantage to the Huma Reg. And all the day state goodness, nice easy cocking, nice shrouded barrel. I'm guessing Lothar Walther. Match grade. Match grade. <laughs> Trigger's got all the yumminess that we, we, that, that we know that this, this brand brings to the table. And I see 11 millimeter up here. Are they sticking with that for the scope mount? Yep. It's a, it's a traditional rifle. They say it's a traditional company, so yeah. the dovetail is traditional. Okay. Traditional stock options, or are we just sticking with a synthetic? As far as I know, you're going to have a black and a green synthetic. Okay. So the green looks colors. really good. I'll put it in the screen so you guys can see it. Yeah. What about uh, any idea of price for the year and, and when? I think I speculating once again, so can't hold this. Um, we're looking, these I think are April or May, so they're a little bit further out, but they are going to be right at about 1700 Okay, and all of them are regulated, or can they still get a non-regulated? You can still gun? get the non-regulated. So you can get the Renegade HP okay. and then the HP HR, so high power humor, humor regulator. regulator. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> what did we miss? Um, it, I mean, this one as well can be completely ambidextrous because you can swap that, okay. just like all the Daystate rivals are kind of moving toward the bubble level in the back. Mm -hmm. Super sweet feature on all these bullpups. Yeah, let's spin that around for everyone at home. You know, you want to combat your candid shots out at 50 and 100 yards. That's a great way to do it. And where is it? It's right in line with the eyeball. I was going to say, you get it in your peripheral vision. So, yeah, I, I think that's one of the neater features on it. Um, 300 cc cylinder, I believe. Um, Fills right here. Yep. And then you got the Picatinny accessory rail cut up underneath for an Atlas bipod, a flashlight, all those accessories we love. Awesome. And then I'm noticing, you know, this is a shrouded and silenced barrel, so it's definitely going to take a lot of the bark out of it. But if you want to go like ultra stealthy, well, this sucker's really thin it on there. One half inch UNF, I'm guessing? Yes, sir. Outstanding. Yeah. The accessories can quiet. I mean, you can, it's going to increase the length a little bit, but you can get a 70 foot pound near silent rifle. It's really cool. 70 foot pound silent rifle. Yep. 
I'm excited, man, and I'm hungry. You want to go get some food? Let's do it. All right, man, let's get out of here. All right. <laughs>